Day four, this is so exciting. So I've added in a little bit about essential oils through the rest of them, but today it's so obvious how the oils fit in here. So we've talking day four in the creation story, land, plants, and trees are created. Okay, so the foundation of plant medicine, right? We know that um, they're meant to be used as our tools. So now we've got these essential oils, which are the plants, the trees, the roots, you know, the, the leaves. So um, initially there was that perfect balance, right? Eden was harmonious. The Talmud, which was, is a, a commentary on the scripture, the Old Testament, says that every blade of grass has an angel over it whispering, grow, grow. And I just think that's so beautiful um, because it means that each blade of grass is so important and has a purpose in this world, right? So by connecting us with these plants, we're connecting with that creation as it was intended. And so that's my main belief is that everyone should have access to these plants in a simple and easy and accessible way. And so that's my passion for the oils comes from is that I can easily hand someone a bottle of peppermint and say, use this, this will help you. This is yours. This was designed for you. Um, and I think we, we separate ourselves because we're not out in it. Not everyone identifies as a gardener or a farmer. Um, or even a naturalist, um, and that's totally fair. Um, but it is really important that we still, though, incorporate these tools into our lives because they are one of the balanced additions that we just we need. We, we crave it. We need it. So um, I, I love the oils for that reason. And today I'm going to talk about cedar wood. Um, and cedar wood is a tree, right? And you probably have some cedars growing near you if you're anywhere near us. We have lots of cedars growing. And you know the smell if you've ever been around a hamster cage. <laughs> or cedar blocks are smart to line your closet with, right? Many people build their closets out of cedar wood. Um, and think about the properties. Why do they do that? Um, so cedar wood is a very useful tool, and we use it a lot. I'm going to read the scripture, Leviticus 14.4. The priest shall order that two live clean birds and some cedar wood, scarlet yarn and hyssop, be brought for the person to be cleansed. So we already know it's great for cleansing, right? And it is. It's amazing cleanser for the skin, especially really good for the skin. So when you're talking about any kind of, you know, rash or cut or scrape or anything, you can use cedar wood. Okay. Um, in the biblical times, it was used in temple worship. It was used for emotional cleansing. It was used in the embalming process alongside myrrh. It enhanced mental clarity, and it was also used as an insect repellent. So we, of course, can use it for all those same, very same things. Um, it's great for opening the airways, and it's also great for sleep. So we use cedar wood a lot as a part of our sleep routine. It's very calming and soothing and helps settle the brain down so that it can, um, can get into fully kind of rested state. And it actually helps the body produce its own melatonin. And um, commonly people use melatonin as a supplement to, uh, to help them sleep. But what we can do with cedar wood is use it regularly, and it helps – um, develop your body's ability to make its own melatonin so that you won't be reliant on this melatonin and need more of it over time. Okay, so we love cedar wood for that reason. And it also is a very amazing tool for opening brain pathways. So you can use it, smell it. Um, if you want to put some in your mouth, you can do that on the bottoms of your big toe is a great place. And scripture actually kind of indicates that and we, we use it now, but it's a reflex point. But when they anointed the priesthood, they would put it on their, their right ear and their right big toe um, and their thumb, too. I might be forgetting. But um, but so that process we still use today from um, just from maybe another angle. But this is the same same idea. Right. Same function. Um, so cedar wood is an amazing tool. We love it. Um, I have it in my bed, bedroom all the time, and it, we use it for a myriad of different things. Um, actually, I'll give you a little tip. My mom uses it. She refurnishes or refurbishes furniture and sells used furniture, um, vintage and antique. And so the cedar wood, she's made a spray out of it, and she always sprays the drawers, and it takes any of the nasty smell out, um, and it just makes those drawers like new again. Um, so if you're looking for something to refresh the, the drawers in your house or the closets in your house, Cedar wood is a great tool because it also helps prevent moths from coming in, right? So, um, so we love, love cedar wood. All right, that's it. Tomorrow we're going to talk about fish and birds, and where am I going to go with that? And don't forget, we do have an option to win myrrh if you join us on our contest on our Instagram feed. So don't forget to do that. We'd love for you to be a winner.